What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. Uh, I'm back with another video that nobody asked for. Yes, that's right. We're here again. Um, now, first off, let's let's make a clear stop for a second here. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much. If this is your first video, your second video, your third video, you came from the Assassin's Creed tier list video, I just would like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. I do not deserve the love, the admiration, the likes, the dislikes, none of it, the comments, any of that support whatsoever. I truly do not deserve it. I truly do feel like I have not been a great content creator as of late or at all. Um, <laughs> funny enough, because when I started this channel, it originally was to create uh, fly action shorts and sketches based off of the video games that I played, and it just never evolved to that point. Maybe one day it will, but right now that's not where it's at, and it never has been that. So maybe, hopefully soon, in the next year, we can get to that, but, you know, I also wanted to utilize this channel when I first made it, and I'm not talking about all of my channels and all of the collab channels and everything else that I've worked on uh, that some of you guys are aware of, it was just this channel in particular. I knew I wanted to share stories. I knew I wanted to talk about my favorite video games, all of the the de the developers, the the companies, all of the scandals, all the just everything about video games that I could talk about, um, as well as video games and film and film in general, and all of my favorite directors and producers, writers, actors, and things like that. And it just never, once again never got there yet um but fortunately a lot of that stuff we talk about on the podcast which is currently on hiatus right now um until we can get a few things organized and also we do talk about a lot of that stuff on my twitch channel which i'm live streaming every single monday tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m pacific standard time so if you're missing that oof for you my friend anyway to reiterate and go back i just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it thank you so much now with that being said let's jump into today's video um so obviously i've talked about this before on the channel i'm a ubisoft stan if you slap assassin's creed title on it i will absolutely buy it i have to i have to i'm just i'm just a shill at this point so my thing that I wanted to talk about today is the previous Ubisoft press conference, or I guess investor call type deal situation, right? So check this out. Uh, Yev Germo, who is, you know, basically the head honcho of Ubisoft, right? Um, he was happy and very unhappy about certain projects that have been going forward. He is very happy about the monetization. Of course, they're happy that the money is coming in. Cool. They're not necessarily happy with a lot of their single player stuff for some reason, but you know, it is what it is. They were thinking some games were going to outperform others, which they did not. So, and I know right now, um, under NDA, they're working on several games that we are not allowed to talk about. Um, obviously, bigger content creators are allowed to talk about that stuff because their NDAs are completely different than somebody like mine. Um, they're working on a first, a couple of first-person shooters, actually, but one in particular is an arena shooter that's very, very reminiscent of CSGO, um, and it's kind of their, like, Valorant competitor. Um, I don't think Ubisoft should be messing around in that particular space. <laughs> I think they should really just double down in the stuff that they've already started developing. Uh, they've got Far Cry, they've got Assassin's Creed, they've got Watch Dogs. They've got uh, Splinter Cell, which still has not had a game for God knows how long. Okay, Blacklist, great game. Make more of it, please. That's what we want. But uh, they's all, they also have Rainbow Six Siege, they have Rabbits, they have that entire franchise with Rayman. So it's kind of all over the place, really. Then they have The Crew, and it just that's when things just start to get all over the place you know it's just it's not it's not looking good it's like trying to mop up vomit with a mop that only has like a couple of like of the strand thingies on it you know what i mean like it's just not it's not working it's not working um <laughs> so i just would like to say for one, whatever projects they are working on, I wish them the best. I hope that they're actually going to make these consumer friendly, um, which really is what we're talking about in this video. Jay, what does all this information mean for us? What does it mean for me? Okay, How, what am I What am I going to be buying, Just Jay Sama? Tell me. Well, first of all, let me tell you something that I do know. I do know that there is an Assassin's Creed live service game that they're working on right now, literally as we speak. And it's supposed to be multiplayer. 
I imagine, this is just my imagination, hear me out, it is going to play very much like Assassin's Creed Unity with additional game modes, much like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's multiplayer and Assassin's Creed Revelations multiplayer, uh, where there is an assassination mode, there's, um, oh man, I can't remember a lot of the modes, and I used to play these all the time. Uh, trail the targets there's gonna be like maybe four or five distinct modes now i know i know nowadays is not the best time in the game industry to really be talking about games as a service or live service games or anything like that because it's really just an excuse for developers and publishers to be able to put out an unfinished game and call it live service it'll take like a year for the game to actually be finished and then they're just like, no, we're just adding updates as the game goes along. It's like bullshit, okay? We know exactly what this is like, all right? If you guys needed more time, just push the game back. I understand that it's very costly to do a lot of this stuff, and you just need the money up front now. But things were very, very different back in the day uh, when there were no live service updates. There were no game patches back in the day. That provided a, a crunch to really, really like get a lot of these games done by this specific due date. So now that we have this excuse of oh, it's a live service, we need to keep updating it, day one patches, crap like that, it's like, come on, man, come on. Just use the allotted time, otherwise push back. So anyway, with that being said, I know you guys can hear me talk about this Assassin's Creed multiplayer live service game, and you can literally smell the microtransactions on my breath as I talk about this. Okay, this is not this is not good. This is not okay. I mean, I'm cool with like skins, weapons, and like any other things that are cosmetic that don't directly affect the gameplay. I don't want a pay-to-win service or anything like that, even though once again, I'm a Ubisoft shill and I have to buy everything, especially, especially for me, because I don't want to be buying a bunch of shit. I just really don't. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm broke. Like, it's just not working. You guys see the size of my entire apartment. Like, come on now. You think I can afford, you think I can afford a bunch of microtransactions? Absolutely not. Will I go broke and stop paying for Netflix to make sure I can get the newest Assassin's Creed costume for $12.99? You goddamn right I am. I will go broke trying to buy that shit. But that's just me. I'm the only one who probably feels that way. Maybe there might be two or three other people that are just like, yes, Jay Sama, I too am addicted. But you know what? I can only speak for myself right now. So essentially the way the game is going to work is there's not really going to be much of a story mode. It's all going to be multiplayer. It's really just going to focus on maybe a lot of the assassins that we've already been introduced to. Um, and not those characters aren't going to be playable necessarily, but characters around them. So maybe like there's random Egyptian, <laughs> random Viking assassin. And then most of the modes are probably just going to be assassin versus Templar anyway. Um, I would like to see, this is my personal, my personal take. I would like to see more co-op stuff done. I would like to see more games focus on on actual full-time co-op. We have gotten that with the last three or four Far Cry games, and it's really, 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 really good that we get that full co-op type of stuff, especially because you have games coming out that scream this should be multiplayer. Watch Dogs 2 should have been multiplayer. Um, the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla would have been a great co-op multiplayer through the entire game, just like Far Cry, where you guys can go around together and just sandbox the entire map, do whatever you want. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is a perfect example of that. Assassin's Creed Unity tried it a little bit with more mission-based stuff, but I want the full game to be co-op if you'd like it to be. I want up to two to four players. That would be, just imagine mobbing with the homies and you can play through the entire game together. Okay, very much like first person co-op shooters just like destiny just like um borderlands a lot of those games are really really good the halo series has also been very very good about that where it's literally the first person mode the first person like single player campaign but back in the day we had split screen so you know you could just play along on the same screen but this is essentially the exact same experience that you would get and it's so weird to me that we see games come out like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like Assassin's Creed Origins, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, for one, where there are clearly multiple 
protagonist. And it's so weird to not have another player there with you in order to go along on this adventure. I propose that Ubisoft really, really implement the um, the co-op gameplay, like, like how uh, a lot of these games have been doing. Only one person needs to buy the game. Only one person needs to purchase. Almost like, not remote play, but I, I forget the term of it. Correct me in the comments. Uh, I, I don't know what the term is called. Basically, where one person buys the game and they're able to share it with whoever they're playing with and they can play during that duration of time that they're, you know, playing together. I, I think it's like share play or something like that. Whatever it is. So if I send my friend an invite, he doesn't have to have the game. He can just download the game and we can just play together, boom. And then as soon as our session is over, it times that game out. The game cannot be played unless he buys the game or I reinvite him and we start another session and just go on and play the rest of the game. So that way, it actually introduces and, and prompts somebody to want to be like, wow, I can only play this when my homie is online, which hopefully it's a game that, that you can play single player um, while also having a multiplayer option. These are just my ideas you know let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i might be a little crazy about this i might be you know kind of losing my mind a little bit but let me know what you guys would like to think that ubisoft has plenty more other games that we can talk about going forward um i do look forward to like giving you guys news updates or anything that we can find about it but right now it seems like we're not getting anything for the rest of the year the, this year last year and I assume probably going into next year, at least the first half, we're just not going to have much of anything. And now that the summer is over, the summer is usually the dry month for video games, and we're going into fall. So if there were any secret games that basically should come out in between September, October, November, or December, which I doubt that's not how the gaming industry works now. Usually they announce games two, three, four years in advance. So most likely there's nothing else coming out this year. But I do want to leave you guys with this. Out of the few games that are coming out this year, all right, for the remainder of the year, up until December 31st, let me know down in the comments what game are you looking forward to the most and why. I just... Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about it. My my personal thing, um, there's honestly no games. <laughs> there's honestly no games coming out that I'm just like, ooh, I have to have it. Um, especially because there are two games on PS5 that are coming, but I don't have a PlayStation 5 set up right now. So there's that. But I'd love to hear what you guys are talking about in the comments. Let's go ahead and have a conversation. This has been your man, Jay. I will catch you guys on the next video. Make sure to keep it canon.